Yo, what's up, everyone? It's Tim with Test Demi live and direct here with a quick, quick video tutorial series. I want to cover what's called the Fizz Bus Challenge. Yo, if you're a test automation engineer, if you're on a spine test automation engineer developer, whatever the case might be, you're trying to get in a program, you're trying to get a job, this is a challenge you have to nail. Because a lot of times, a lot of people that are coming out of college, new to programming, automation testing, they go on some of these interviews and they're giving a lot of these coding challenges. And one of the most popular coding challenges out there is the FizzBus Challenge. It was created by a guy, I can't remember his name, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I can look it up, Google it, right? Uh, but anyway, it's a challenge that comes up. A lot of developers or automation engineers or aspiring automation engineers or people that are just trying to learn uh, coding, if you're not used to this or if you haven't practiced it, it might come up in an interview and you probably just get tripped up and, you know, not do well. But so I want to kind of walk through this using Python, make this real quick. So, hey, follow along, will you? Come on, let's go. All right, let's jump right into the code. Uh, let me go ahead and make my screen. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and put this in a very presentable mode here. So the FizzBus Challenge, what exactly is it? All right, so the idea behind the FizzBus, FizzBus Challenge is to print um, from 1 to 100. And if the number is divisible by divisible by three, you want to print fizz, right? If the number is divisible by five, you want to print oh, not buzz, not fuzz. <laughs> that would be cool. You want to print buzz, uh, not okay. Anyway, <laughs> you want to print buzz, and if the number is divisible by three and five, you want to print fizz buzz. This is a very popular question that comes up. Um, you know, even if you're strong, but you want to practice this. So let's go ahead and walk through it real quick. Uh, the way I did it when I first uh, went ahead and tackled the FizzBus challenge is I went ahead and just um, went ahead and just you know ran like a quick for loop. So I said for i, you can call it whatever, right? Or uh, you can say for number in range, whatever you want to call it. Doesn't it, you know that's not really a, uh, important. And you can put the range. And here's where a lot of people get tripped up. If you want to print from one to one hundred, right? You want to go one, the range from one to one hundred. Right, you don't want to do 100 because it's going to print up to 99. Remember that uh, if you print the list, uh, the range, the list, because the range is really a list, and you print this out, it's going to print up to the number 100, which is actually 99. So if I go to print this and I say uh, for num number in range 1 to 100, and I print number to the screen here, you're going to notice it's going to go up to just the number 99. Right? See that? Uh, so you know if you if you stopped here, you wrote your code here, you know. You, you kind of got it partially right. You don't want to get partially right. You want to nail it because you're in competition with other people that are trying to get into business. All right, so print from 1 to 101, and that prints you up to 100. That's the first step. So a lot of times you want to break it down uh, step by step. You know, break down a big program or problem into small um, bite-sized problems. So the first thing is, can I print to 100, 1 to 100? Yes. Yay. Right? So the second thing you want to do here is you want to go ahead and print – the same thing from 1 to 100, but if a number is divisible by 3, uh, you want to go ahead and print the word fizz out there. Uh, so the key is you want to use the uh, operand called, uh, excuse me, the operator called the modulus operator. So the, what this modulus operator does, uh, anything that's remainder, um, the remainder, it actually returns that to the screen. So if you say uh, 7 modulus uh, 3, you know, you're going to get, uh, I believe, four, right? Uh, no, actually not four. What am I saying? You're going to get one because three can be divided into seven two times. Uh, you're going to get one as the remainder. All right. So uh, you want to go ahead and use the modulus uh, operator. Uh, so in this case, uh, what I'll do here is I'll do uh, if if uh, number modulus three, sorry, uh, let's see here, modulus three, and remember, the equal side is not one equal. That's the assignment uh, operator. You want to do equals equals, which is equal to, well, if I can actually type, that will be nice. Oh, there you go. Equal, equal, and you want to say zero, right? So if whatever number is divisible by zero, you want to return, um, you want to make sure it's divisible by three. So that means it has a zero remainder. Uh, that's a secret there. All right, so put your colon, and you want to go ahead and print fizz, right? So just break it down one at a time. Print fizz out. Well, not capital fizz. Print fizz out else. You want to do else. Uh, you want to print, and you want to make sure you indent that. You want to print number, okay? 
So what it's going to do here is going to print if it if it finds a number that's divisible by three and has a remainder of zero, uh, you know, say a number that's divisible by three, it's going to print fizz. Uh, if not, it's going to print the other numbers out. So let's go ahead and print this out to our screen. And if you notice here, starting from the scratch, we, we're, count, we're still counting from 1 to 100. So we go 1, 2, the number 3 is divisible by 3, the remainder is 0, it prints fizz. 4, 5, 6 is divisible, uh, so it prints fizz, 9, uh, 12, 15, and so forth. So our code is working all the way to 99, right? 99 divided by 3, remainder of 0 with the modulus operate, operator. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure it can be divisible by... Uh, let's see here. Want to make sure it's divisible by now. In this case, uh, divisible by five, right? So if it's divisible by five, you want to print buzz, right? So equals, not e yeah, equals, right? Buzz, and you want to go ahead and print. In this case, you want to go ahead and print buzz. Same thing here, right? So if a number is divisible by five, it should print buzz to the screen. Go ahead and print that up. One, two, three. Oops, what did I do here? Wrong. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. If numbers but three, print fizz. If number, uh, oh, yeah, that's my fault. Sorry. I want to do L L if. All right, so there you go. That's why you want to practice because you don't want to make these. I mean, it's fine to make mistakes. Just kind of talk through it. Uh, it's perfectly okay. But so if numbers divisible by three, zero, print zero. L if number divided by five, print buzz. Okay, we should, this should actually work, right? So I, I had two if statements. So that was an error on my part. So you can see here, one, two, three, we printed that earlier, four, five. We're focusing on five now. So buzz, 10. Uh, you can see eight, nine, 10, buzz. Uh, so 15 is printing three because whatever it finds first, that's what's actually going to work on. Uh, it's actually going to print. It's not actually going to get to five where it can actually print buzz. So that's why 15, which is also divisible by three, um, uh, it normally would have print buzz. But because it found this first statement in our code block here, three is divisible by uh, also 15, so it printed out the fizz first. Uh, we're going to fix that when we continue. But anyway, if you look at a number number here, which is 20, which is divisible by 5 and not divisible by 3, buzz, also uh, 25, I believe, buzz, and so forth, all the way to uh, the number 100, number 100. So for the last bit of the fizz buzz challenge, you want to, uh, if it's divisible by 3 and 5, so that's starting with the word 15. That's what I just did the first time I did it. 3 times 5 is 15, 30 is a multiple, uh, 45 all the way to uh, 60, uh, 75, and so forth. So every number that's visible by 3 and, remember your truth tables, and 5, you want to print FISBO. So what you want to do is, since you want to, you wanted to find that first, go ahead and just make this an if, if um, number modulus, modulus 3 equals 0, and, well, not that, you want a colon, and if and uh, number, uh, let's see here, modulus 5 equals to 0. Du, 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 du. You want to you wanna make this elf, L, uh, you want to actually print, now you want to actually print fizz buzz. And you want to make this, uh, you want to go ahead and make this an LF. Your conditional statements. Oops, what am I doing? Elif. It'd be nice if I can type this finally. Uh, Elif number. Da, 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 something going on with our code block here. Elif number. Uh, let's see here. If number divided by three. Okay, this is just way off. Sorry, guys. Yep, that's my problem right there. Okay. Um, and if num if number is modulus three equals zero and five equals zero print fizz buzz lf three zero equals zero print fizz lf number five print buzz l else number so it's if it finds a multiple of three and five that's divisible it's gonna print fizz buzz if it's just three it's gonna print fizz if it's just buzz it's gonna print uh. If it's just five, it's going to print buzz, Ellis, uh, or else it's going to print number. So this should go ahead and work, and this should be the end of our fizz buzz challenge. You can see three, the fizz, five, buzz. But remember 15? Ah, fizz buzz, because it found it first with your conditional statements, right? If it's condition, if it's true and true, fizz buzz is printed out. So number 30 should be fizz buzz, 45 should be fizz buzz, uh, 60, fizz buzz, 75, fizz buzz, 100, all the way to... Um, 
in this case 90 which is the last one, one that's divisible by 3 and 5 uh, from when you count from 1 to 100 so that's it for our Fizzbuzz challenge but what you want to do to make your code a little cleaner you might want to pass this to be a function so we're going to say function create a function called Fizzbuzz actually let's create a little cleaner we're going to call it uh let's see Fizzbuzz challenge and just going to fix this real quick uh, then I'm going to do some quick indentation of our code. Dun, dun, dun. All right. And this should get our code working. So now you want to go ahead and call that function. What am I doing? Sorry, guys. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and call that function, Fizzbuzz Challenge. It's going to print the same thing. I will just put in a method, so we can just call that method, and we're all set. So, Fizzbush Challenge created. Uh, work on this. Practice, practice, practice. And hopefully, you go ahead and get that next interview uh, aced, and you do great. But anyway, till then, see you in the next video. Hopefully, this was helpful for anyone that was trying to uh, prepare for any kind of test automation interview. Remember, always prepare for test automation interviews as a developer, not automation engineer, because they're looking for developers, really, at the end of the day. So Fizzbuzz Challenge is a very popular uh, challenge, uh, quiz, or challenge that comes up in interviews. When you practice it, practice, practice, practice it on the whiteboard without an IDE, so you can be sharp, mentally on point, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. We out. Holla.